Introduction to Computers In today's society, we depend a lot on the computers and technology for our daily chores. This chapter would give a brief introduction to computers. Building Blocks of Computer Computer A computer can be defined as an electronic device with the ability to accept user-supplied data and instructions, store data and perform mathematical, logical operations, Output results according to user specifications, transfer data, images and sound through telephone lines or cables at a fast rate. CPU The heart of a computer is a central processing unit, CPU. CPU or central processing unit. The CPU is housed inside a box-like structure called the system unit. It is responsible for all the processing required to receive and convert the input to the required output. It performs all the arithmetic calculations and logical operations. It also coordinates and controls the other devices of the computer. The memory of the computer is housed inside the CPU. The CPU is comprises three components, namely memory unit, control unit, arithmetic and logic unit. Memory unit. The memory unit stores program or data in a computer or any other physical storage medium. Control unit. The control unit directs and controls the activities of the internal and external devices. ALU ALU Arithmetic Logic Unit ALU is a part of CPU where the actual computations take place. While performing these operations, the ALU takes data from the temporary storage area inside the CPU named registers. The speed of the processor or the clock rate is measured in megahertz or million ticks per second. Binary numbers. The computer stores a character in the storage cells with binary 0-1 mechanism. Thus the basic unit of memory is a bit binary digit 0, 1. To store a character, a computer requires 8 bits or 1 byte. This is called the word length of the storage unit. Hence the storage capacity of the computer is measured in the number of words it can store and is expressed in terms of bytes. The different units of measurement are 8 bits equal 1 byte, 1024 bytes equal 1 kilobyte KB, 1024 KB equals 1 megabyte MB, 1024 MB equal 1 gigabyte GB. Input and Output Devices Any piece of equipment that provides data and control signals to the computer is an input device. Mouse Mouse is an input device that is used to point and select items or objects displayed on the monitor. Mice that are used with the desktop computers have two or three buttons. Some mice have a wheel between the left and right buttons and is called a scroll mouse or wheel mouse. The following are the examples of input devices. Mouse Keyboard Joystick Scanner Web Camera Microphone. The left button of the mouse is also known as primary mouse button and the right button of the mouse is known as secondary mouse button. The scroll wheel is located between the buttons. Features of mouse. A mouse has some basic operational features irrespective of the number of buttons that a mouse has. They are moving the mouse pointer, pointing, clicking, left clicking, right clicking, double clicking, dragging and dropping. Keyboard. The keyboard, also called as a standard input device, is a series of switches connected to a microprocessor that monitors the state of each switch and initiates a specific response to a change in that state. Each keystroke generates a unique signal which is used by the computer to identify the key pressed. Joystick. This joystick is an input device. It is a lever that moves in all directions. It controls the movement of the cursor. With a joystick, the pointer continues moving in the direction the joystick is pointing. Pointer can be stopped if the joystick is placed in its upright position. The buttons on the joystick are called triggers. Scanner is an input device that is used to make an exact copy of a picture or a photograph in a paper to the computer. There are many models of scanners available and are used for different scanning requirements. The most common types of scanners are handheld scanners and flatbed scanners. Web camera. A web camera is a device capable of converting 
visuals into digital form. Web cameras are generally mounted on top of a computer monitor and function as the eye of the computer. It records video motion and audio if there is a built-in microphone and transmits the data to the computer. You can use it to take a photograph of yourself and store it in the computer or for video conferencing. Microphone Microphone is another input device used to record or save sound. Microphone absorbs the sound waves and converts into digital form to save them as sound file. Using microphones and some software, you can give voice instructions to the computer. Output devices Output device is any hardware device which generates the output from the computer to human readable form. Video, visual display unit, monitor. The monitor is the most used output device on a computer. The monitor provides instant feedback. Most desktop monitors use a cathode ray tube, CRT, while portable computing devices such as laptops incorporate liquid crystal display, LCD, light emitting diode, LED, gas plasma, or other image projection technology. Printers. Printers are used to transfer the data and the process information from computer onto a paper. Information printed on a paper is called a hard copy of the output. Printers are capable of printing text and images. Today, there are color printers and grayscale black and white printers available. Speakers. The speakers, depending on the model, have a set of controls including volume, treble and bass. Apart from this, there is also another speaker that comes along with the computer known as system speaker, which is responsible for generating the beep sounds. Projector. A projector is a device designed to take an image from a video source and project a larger version of it as faithfully as possible onto a screen or other surface. Projectors are used in a variety of different ways. They are enjoyed by home theater enthusiasts due to their ability to project movies and television programs onto a screen much larger than even the biggest TV available and used in the corporate setting to project information onto screens large enough for rooms filled with people to see. Projectors come in a variety of different shapes and sizes and are produced by many different companies. Input and Output Devices To begin with, when a key is pressed, the runner tone attached to the key moves downwards. The pressure of the fingertip in pressing the key leads to planet down on two electronic contacts. When these two contacts come together, electricity flows through the circuit. When you lift your finger, the spring moves up, lifting the key upwards and the electric circuit is broken. Now the signal produced by two contacts coming together is passed onto the chip called as microprocessor. The microprocessor holds the scan card. The pressed key stroke is smashed with the scan card. The microprocessor passes this required information to RAM. Based on the keystroke press, the signal is passed from the system to the monitor. And finally, the result is a character displayed on the screen. Storage Devices Apart from the input and output devices, the CPU also consists of storage devices like floppy disk drive, CD-DVD drive, and hard disk drive. These storage drives retain information even when the computer is switched off and retrieve them whenever we need it. Floppy drive. Floppy drives store information on floppies which are made of hard plastic. They are more prone to damage. CD DVD drive. CD DVD drives are used to store data on CDs and DVDs which can be retrieved using lasers. Hard disk drive. Hard disk drive stores information on hard disk which is made up of magnetic surface. Concept of hardware and software. Hardware includes all the physical components that together form a system. Software includes a set of instructions and data that instruct the computer on what to do and how to do. Hardware Examples In a computer, processes, memory, secondary storage, I.O. devices are the hardware sources. Hardware Types Hardware components present in the computer are broadly classified as internal and external. Internal components, motherboard, processor, RAM, CD-ROM, hard disk drive, power supply, power cable, 
graphics card. External components, monitor, keyboard, mouse, computer casing, printer. Software. Software is more often known as computer programs which instruct the hardware to perform specific actions. Programs are written in high-level languages. High-level languages are converted into low-level assembly languages. Low-level assembly languages are converted into machine language, which is easier for hardware to interpret. Software is broadly classified into the following three types based on their use. Application software, system software, malware. Data and information, data. It is a collection of facts, concepts, instructions which can be used for communication. Information. It is a part of data which is processed and organized so that specific actions can be taken. Data is a raw, unprocessed facts and figures. Information is a processed data. Data is not specific, whereas information is specific. Data is the input to a system, whereas information is the output. Information flow. It is also necessary that the useful information obtained is sent to the concerned people. The information should be passed on from the vendor to the client or within the organization for better communication. Impact of information flow on growth and productivity. Information flow within the organization keeps all the employees updated about any recent change and yields and growth of the company. Computer as an electronic machine. The main task of computer is to perform calculations as per instructions. Computers work through a combination of hardware and software. Tasks done with computers. Computers allow us to do the following tasks. Access web. Send emails. Instant messages. Play games. View pictures, movies and videos. Types of computers. Based on their size, computers can be classified into desktops, laptops, handheld computers, smartphones. Desktops. They are the larger computers which are positioned on the desk and its main component is system unit. Laptops. They are portable computers. Screen can be closed on the keyboard and carried. Handheld devices. Handheld devices like PDAs are smaller than laptops and can be used to access internet, play games, etc. Role of electronic components in the working of a computer. A computer consists of various electronic components like microprocessors, semiconductors, diodes, resistors and transistors, etc., which enable the functioning of a computer to take place. These components together form an electronic circuit which take power from the power supply, conduct them, amplify them, store them, provide resistance, and thus enable the functioning of the computer. The main electronic components are present in the motherboard of the computer. All the electric signals are passed through it to the microprocessor on the motherboard. 